Okay, I am re-recording this um, Unit 3 Lesson 1 formative because the first one, something happened with my recording and it didn't work. So I've got all the answers here. If you want to just check your answers with this, but um, if you see the arc sign or the sign with a negative one, the inverse sign, they're both the inverse sign. So they're what the measure of what angle, the sign of what angle is going to give you one half is what it's asking. And that's going to be pi over six. You want to go ahead and restrict your range here. So you only have one answer and you know that Y value, if the Y value is one half, this angle, hopefully, you know, the unit circle is going to be pi over six. For the second one, for the inverse tangent of negative root 3 over 3, you should know that the t the tangent of pi over 6 is root 3 over 3. If you have that memorized and it's negative uh, and it's a negative root 3 over 3, you know if you go ahead and restrict your range that it's going to be in the fourth quadrant, which is going to make that negative pi over 6. For number 3, we, we're doing the inverse cosine, so we're restricting the range in a little different way. Um, so now we have our answers could be from 0 to pi, so it's quadrant 1 and quadrant 2. It's negative, so we know that has to be, when. where is the cosine negative? Cosine is x, it's going to be in the quadrant 2. And that's negative root 3 over 2. If you know your uh, unit circle, that's going to be 5 pi over 6. And the last one, the inverse sine of, now if you see this root 2 over 2, you know that's going to be a middle angle. So that's why I put over 4. Go ahead and restrict your range, and it's negative. That means where is y negative? It has to be in the fourth quadrant. And we know that that's going to be the negative pi over 4. Moving on to negative 2, we're going to start, or <laughs> negative 2, number 2, we're going to start on the inside here. What's the inverse tangent of 3 fourths? Well, 3 fourths isn't on our unit circle, so we're going to go ahead and restrict our range because we're doing the inverse function, so the inverse tangent, and then we're going to draw our triangle in quadrant 1 because where is the tangent positive? It's going to be in quadrant 1. So we go ahead and we draw our triangle. We put our opposite over adjacent, our 3 and our 4, where they go. Using Pythagorean theorem, we find the hypotenuse, which is 5. That's a 3, 4, 5 triangle. Once you have that, now you're asked to find the sine of this angle. The sine of this angle is opposite over hypotenuse, and that's why it's 3 fifths. And the last one. If we start on the inside of this function, we see that the inverse cosine is root 3 over 2. Well, root 3 over 2, that's on the unit circle. So what angle, when we restrict the range here, is going to give us a cosine of root 3 over 2? That's going to be pi over 6, if you know the unit circle. So now we go ahead and substitute pi over 6 in um, here. So what's the cosecant of pi over 6? Well, the cosecant of pi over 6, you have to think, well, you're going to think, I should have written this down, uh, the reciprocal of cosecant is sine. So you're going to think, what's the sine of pi over 6? And then you're going to flip it. The sine of pi over 6 is 1 half, and the reciprocal of that is 2. And I believe that is all. Yep, peace out.